hello and welcome to our 31st demonic and internal medicine. It's Ryan here. Hope you're well. Today we're breaking down bronchiectasis. We're looking at the, the pathophysiological subtypes and the causes. So you know, last week oxygen took potassium on a date. It went okay. <laughs> then yesterday I saw oxygen on a date with magnesium, and I was like, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this quick scripture to encourage you. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, verse 4 says, Humility and the fear of the Lord bring wealth, honor, and life. Say it one more time. Humility and the fear of the Lord bring wealth, honor, and life. If you want life and good days on earth, be humble and fear the Lord. It's simple from the book of Proverbs. So, Let's talk about bronchiectasis. Bronchiectasis refers to abnormal dilatation of the bronchi, and as a result, they accumulate secretions and are prone to infection, which sets up a vicious cycle where more infection leads to more dilatation, which leads to more infection and more dilatation, and, you know, it's a vicious cycle. So the different pathophysiological subtypes are remembered by the simple mnemonic CSF. So C stands for cylindrical, S is saccular, and F is fusiform or varicose. So the pathophysiology here is that we have airway obstruction, which leads to destruction and altered immunity. And then we have increased cellular and, uh, uh, medi and uh, mediators of the inflammatory response, like increase in your elastase and sputum production, which then sets up a cycle of recurrent infections. And as a result, we get permanent dilatation of the bronchi. Right? In the cylindrical or the tubular form, Essentially, we have dilated airways alone. Sometimes this represents the residual effect of pneumonia and may resolve. The saccular form, also called cystic bronchiectasis, is the most severe form as we have progressive dilatation of the airways results in large cysts or saccules. And the fusiform, also called the varicose form, uh, here we have focal constrictive areas along the uh, dilated airways. So by and large, the causes can be remembered by the mnemonic OK. Um, chaps, OK, chaps. So O stands for obstruction of the bronchus, K is for cartagonous syndrome, C is for cystic fibrosis, H for hypo, gamma globulinemia, ABPA for allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis, P stands for pertussis or numerous childhood, um, you know, chest infections and pneumonia, S is for Sjogren's and connective tissue disease. Okay, guys, just a small note on alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. The pathophysiology of this is that there's a production of an abnormal protease inhibitor, uh, usually the homozygous form, with impaired transport out of the liver. And the serum level is only 10 to 15% of what is an, what would constitute a normal alpha-1 antitrypsin level. As a result, we have increased protease activity, which is increased, which leads to emphysema and cirrhosis in up to 10% of patients. Uh, how do we diagnose it? We're doing your alpha-1 antitrypsin levels, and targeted testing should be considered in patients with COPD diagnosed before the age of 65 or the smoking history of less than 20 pack years. So if you see somebody who presents like COPD, right, with emphysema, but they don't have the significant smoking history and they're gently younger. Always you'll be on the lookout for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. And treatment is similar to COPD with alpha-1 antitrypsin replacement. Okay, and then how do we work up these patients? Uh, well, patients with bronchiectasis, generally you want to do a chest X-ray. You're going to see things like, um, you know, SAM tracking um, and ring shadows. And then you want to do a high resolution CT. And what you see is a signet ring sign, right? And that the size of the bronchi are generally larger than those of the accompanying blood vessels, right? Uh, pulmonary function testing usually shows an obstructed picture with reversibility. Treatment of bronchiectasis generally exercise, chest physiotherapy, and bronchodilators similar to COPD. However, if reversible, inhaled corticosteroids should be given early, ensure adequate systemic hydration, and of course, effective treatment of your exacerbation. Okay, guys, so there you have your bronchiectasis subtype, CSF, cylindrical, saccular, fusiform, causes, okay, chaps. God bless you. Have yourself an amazing day.